Hey guys, welcome back for some more Oxygen Not Included. So this is a game when you, where you need to actually play quite a few times and you need to set up uh, different colonies in order to learn more and more stuff. And um, I have done so because um, I pretty much, um, when I first started playing the game, um, I was a little bit, um, I should say, unattracted to it. Uh, it looked quite tough. I mean, a lot of uh, stuff going on, uh, plumbing, uh, power, I mean, things things were a little bit uh, difficult to understand how they work. But I have to say, once you get uh, used to it, and once you learn some of the basics, it becomes uh, much more interesting. And um, it kind of poses more problems for you to solve, and um, have issues, so you always have like some issues with expanding your, uh, your colony and uh, discovering new areas, and uh, you have to be very cautious on how to proceed. So... I wanted to create a quick uh, tutorial with uh, that showcases uh, that actually shows uh, ten tips, ten very important tips that I learned uh, while playing and while uh, uh, watching various uh, YouTube uh, tutorials and uh, reading uh, resources around the web. And so I thought that uh, by you know combining them in one video, it would actually help you with your game so that you don't have to restart all over. So I just created a new colony here, and as you see, I'm in cycle four. And uh, by doing so, I wanted to show you 10 very important things that you should know when playing the game. So let's start off with um, the copy settings. So you see here I'm creating a storage compactor. I'm actually creating five storage compactors. And these are used to store your different materials, right? Uh, for, you know, in, these are like storage areas. And eventually you will be building a lot more of those. So what you want to be doing is assign the storage and for the most part assign all. Um, you may want to remove polluted dirt and always ha only have it in uh, uh, some very specific uh, storage compactors because it has uh, mi microbes or germs, I should say. Um, and um, so you would think that you would, you would need to do the same thing for all those uh, storage compactors, right? And that would be the case, but there's actually a copy settings here um, option that you can use. And you can select all your uh, storage compactors and then it automatically applies the settings to all of those. Very, very useful and um, it can save you a lot of time. So moving on next, one thing that I wanted to, to explain to you is uh, that you need to have different uh, um, areas for your clean water and your polluted water. I, I haven't created the polluted water area yet, but um, this is the, my current clean area and I will probably have more here. But um, you need to isolate your clean water with your polluted water. And polluted water comes from examples, from, for example, from using wash basins, right? These produce polluted water. And what you want to be doing is creating like a hatch here, like a big area, big hole, uh, where you would set, uh, send your polluted water. So um, you would pretty much dig around here. I'm going to do it uh, next and uh, create like um, an area. Always make sure that you don't have germs around, especially these kinds of germs, uh, slime lines. Um, and this area will be like the, the area where my uh, polluted water will be stored. And I will create that uh, shortly after. And um, in order to store my polluted water, I will have a bottle of emptier. And I will set it to all, but uh, actually specify a polluted water instead of water. And as you see here, I'm, I'm using water, so everything... So my colonists, my duplicants, will be actually emptying uh, fresh water here and they will be emptying the polluted water here. So that's how you want to isolate your uh, different water sources, right? And later on you can clean the water, but for now, uh, when you start a new game, that's what you need to be doing. Um, the next thing, when you build a, a restroom place, like a toilet place, uh, it's a good idea to have like two wash basins and two out outhouses at least, maybe three if you want. But uh, it's really important that you also have uh, wash basins next to outhouses. Because um, if you see the germ overlay, the outhouses definitely have a lot of uh, germs. And these are food poisoning germs for the most part. And uh, once your duplicants use the outhouses, they will uh, automatically use the wash basins as they pass uh, through in order to exit uh, the room. Now, if you, if you had an exit here, and the duplicants would exit from that side, they wouldn't actually go to the wash basin, they don't go automatically. So they would just go on their job and continue their work pretty much. So if there is a wash basin, uh, they would use it, otherwise they wouldn't. And um, the set direction here, as you see, means that 
when a duplicant passes uh, from this side, they will actually use the duplicate the um, uh, the was basin, which is probably what you need to be doing, right? Because uh, you you only want to want them to use it when they use the outhouse, not not when they enter the room. Uh, so you want the direction to show uh, right in this case. Uh, and it's a great idea to actually close this area here, not even having uh, a passage. You can close it completely. It's probably the, the best thing to do. So the next thing is you have to understand uh, how germs work. And um, so food poisoning germs are easy to solve. I mean, just by having wash basins, for the most part, you won't get uh, a food poisoning. But even if you do, they, you know, this kind of uh, food poisoning is not so important. And it's non-lethal, as you see. But uh, slime lag is lethal and it's uh, very, very contagious. And in the beginning of the game, uh, you don't want to be uh, building stuff next to slime. So just avoid it. Just avoid the areas where there is slime. And uh, later on, I will be creating a tutorial to show you how to, um, how to properly um, work with uh, around the uh, slime lag. And uh, it's, it's a little bit complicated, but uh, yeah, you want to isolate uh, um, the, the, the specific uh, germs and it's, uh, it's, it will take a full tutorial on its own, so I'm going to do it next. So prioritizing tasks is also pretty important and you can see it here. And uh, pretty much uh, every task has a number. And when you want uh, your duplicates to do something quickly, you can just set up a priority level of, let's say, 9. And uh, they will just get to it uh, faster. It will be their top priority. So right now, as you see, I just selected priority nine for this, and uh, my duplicants immediately went um, to execute that uh, task. And that's pretty important because at times you, you just don't want to wait for something to uh, to be done. Now, a lot of newcomers in the game tend to build a lot of uh, algae dioxidizers and algae terrariums. You see, like rows of uh, rows of them, and that's actually not a good idea. So, algae deoxidizers are used to, to convert algae into oxygen and algae terrariums are actually recycling carbon dioxide and create oxygen. But they use a lot of water and that's uh, not a good idea to do, especially early, early in the game. So, personally I don't build algae terrariums, I may build a couple or two, a couple or three, sorry, in some, some cases if I really need it. But for the most part, I don't, I don't build them, I just build algae deoxidizers and then move on to the next phase of the game uh, by building um, uh, the electrolyzers, for example, uh, which will be my main source of oxygen later on. So you need to, uh, what you need to be doing is, especially in the, in the early early game, build like uh, two or three or maybe four algae deoxidizers uh, around your base, and um, it's a good idea to build them in separate locations, like one here and one here, for example, here and here, and these th they will be generating oxygen. Now. If you look at your oxygen overlay, you will notice that uh, um, the heavier um, the heavier gases go on the bottom uh, of your base. So carbon dioxide, for example, is um, heavier than oxygen, so it will be it will be established lower in your base. And you see the oxygen is actually flowing on top of your base. Now, your duplicants obviously um, have to breathe, and by breathing they generate more. Uh, carbon dioxide and also there are other resources like machines and eventually you will need to clean that carbon dioxide so you can either like uh, dig deeper which is probably not the best idea or just um, filtrate that with algae terrariums which is not, not so good or later on there's gonna be um, a new research, research, research sorry, that you can open up and um, it will be in the oxygen uh, I'm, I'm forgetting the name of, of that right now but um, um, so filtration, uh, let me see, carbon skimmers, yeah. So you can build carbo, carbo, carbon skimmers later on that uh, require water and they will um, pretty much uh, clean your carbon dioxide and they're way, way more efficient than algae terrariums. So um, generally speaking, you need algae the, the other, the, the oxidizers for the early game and then you will need the skimmers that I showed you and the electrolyzers for uh, oxygen generation and also hydrogen generation, which we'll talk about in a separate tutorial again. So I just try to keep it simple here uh, for newcomers. So um, an important thing to keep in mind is high stress, uh, high stress, which is was a reason uh, for me to, you know, to, to die, to have my, a lot of my duplicants destroy my colony or eventually die. Um, and I oh, actually have a building entombment here. 
So when you have that, you just need to, to dig other uh, things, and you can give them high priority. But uh, it's really important to sweep the to to sweep the floors from materials that you can find um, right when you are digging. So there's like a lot of materials. So spend some time to sweep the floor because it actually has an effect on um, on your duplicants, and um, it actually brings down their uh, stress level. Uh, actually, brings up their stress level. So, by mopping, you will see that you will be able to contain, uh, or by sweeping, I should say, you'll be able to contain uh, the stress till you get the, the necessary research uh, to continue with, um, uh, to continue and get some interior decor, decor which should, we should actually start doing already, because it's pretty important. So, next thing, uh, airflow tiles, which we don't have them yet, but it's part of a research. And these are the tiles that you can build on top of your current tiles. And uh, what they do is they allow the, fl the gas to flow uh, in your base, so it can pretty much distribute itself faster. And it's always a good idea to have that, because you want the uh, oxygen to be flowing in your base, and you want your uh, other uh, gases to be in the proper places where you need them, like um, carbon dioxide on the bottom or hydrogen on the top, because it's lighter than oxygen. And so it's a good idea to have a good ventilation system by building these tiles. Um, and you can get them in... Uh, I think it's like the, the basic research is uh, here or yeah it's actually very early in the researches so the job priority is another important thing so if you go to the jobs here at the jobs panel uh, if, especially for research and um, the other thing is running so power uh, you want to isolate the um, duplicates that are best at it so uh, Rowan is my best scientist so I'm isolating him to perform all the research and um, a a a Abe, sorry, uh, yeah, but uh, actually I have a better one. I should have done it here. So Rowan is, oh, Rowan is my scientist. That's why I didn't use him again. So I don't have like the best um, athletics for for my duplicates, but uh, they will uh, they will evolve them uh, once performing the tasks. Um, so Rowan is actually occupied with uh, you know with um, research. So I'm, I'm using another duplicate for power, and I want to isolate the ones that are best at it because it's um, time consuming and uh, you really want the, the most skillful ones um, to do this. Okay, so for the last uh, trick, uh, or I should say um, tip, uh, it's always important to examine the vitals of a person. So uh, let's say the highest stress here. You see, um, you see that Ari, and if you click again, you will move to the next duplicate. So Ari here has 23% uh, stress. And if you go to, to his stress response, you will see that he exhibits um, um, a, a decor expectation of 10% per, per, per cycle. Uh, so this, this causes him to have, um, to have stress. And that's why you see uh, that his stress is, um, is actually higher than normal, while the others are, are way more controlled. So, for instance, um, there's, um, this duplicate has a new friend, so he has minus 10% per cycle. And he has a decor expectation of minus 20% per cycle. Um, that gives him a minus 20%, so he's actually lower. Um, so sometimes some duplicants have higher decor expectations, and this could be more stressful for, for, for them, right? Uh, as, as you see here, for example, his decor uh, is going down like uh, massively. Later on, this is easy to handle because you can just build some uh, paintings um, and always assign another thing that I forgot to mention in the art. I don't have a good artist yet, so I would love to get one in my next uh, duplicate in Cycle 6. You need a good artist, actually, artist to create masterpieces. But once you get a good artist, uh, only assign them uh, to create your, um, you know, your paintings and your pretty much your artistic stuff. That's it. These are 10 very important tips that I wish I knew when I started the game. I'm pretty sure they will help you and, um, you know... It, you will, uh, you won't need to have so many restarts as I had. I think I have pretty, I have pretty much played like uh, ten colonies so far, and I'm always restarting and learning new things, which is nice. I mean, it's interesting. But if you can avoid some of the simple issues, I, I don't see why why you wouldn't. Uh, so thank you for watching, and um, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more tutorials on uh, um, this game because I really really like it, and uh, I didn't think I would so much, but uh, the more I play, the more I like it. Uh, again, thanks for watching and uh, please remember to subscribe uh, for more tutorials and uh, like the video also to enable me to make more in the future. Thank you guys. Uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.